When we think of action of the Fed, we can point to the money market. The money market is a representation of the Federal Reserve and their open market operations and policies to affect the economy. Let's start off by looking at the X and Y axis. On the Y axis are the nominal interest rates the Fed is targeting as they engage in open market operations. On the X axis is the quantity of money. This graph gives us an inelastic money supply curve and a downward sloping money demand curve. At the point of intersection is equilibrium, equilibrium interest rates, and the equilibrium quantity of money in the economy. Consumers may choose to increase or decrease the demand for money, regardless of interest rates. If consumers choose to, let's say, use less money in its M1 form, and we see a decrease in the money demand, we will also see a reduction in interest rates. If consumers determine that they want to use more money, for whatever reason, then we will see an increase in interest rates. This is an increase or decrease in money demand based on consumers' willingness to hold money in its M1 liquid form. Of course, the Federal Reserve can change their monetary policy. They can choose to engage in open market operations to either work to expand the economy or contract the economy. If the Federal Reserve decides to try to work to expand the economy, they will engage in open market operations by buying bonds. As they buy bonds, this increases the money supply and thus reduces interest rates, trying to create an incentive for consumers and businesses to borrow money. If they see that inflation is too high, they may choose to sell bonds. If they sell bonds, they are essentially reducing the money supply, and by reducing the money supply, increasing the nominal interest rates. Remember that it is all about incentives. In this case, a reduced incentive to borrow money by consumers and businesses. This will work to slow the economy and reduce inflation.